Well, ready to do it. And then, guys, got uh, got our different camera setup angle here. Uh, ready to do it. Looks like we got our dice marked. Should we go see it? Got a new setup today. Get this in here. Okay, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing the uh, super grip, the uh, knuckle. We're going to be showing the two different way, the uh, two finger and the uh, single finger, or the thumb and the, uh, let's see here. So I'm set up, guys. Super grip. Just one marker dice, so I know we bring it back to so you can see it. Camera. This is how we set it up right here. This is the single finger. Uh, you know, because it's one finger right there. I guess two fingers with the thumb. But uh, the thumb, first finger, right there. That's one knuckle grip. That's one knuckle grip. Just making sure you see right there. You got one right there. 45 degree angle release like that. Second one, two finger. You get these two finger up front like that. 45 degree, or you can knuckle it in straight like that. Either one you can bring it in straight, but. This one here is the one you really, with the two, the two front and the thumb, that's when you bring it in straight, like that. I'm trying to think what we're going to show here. We show the knuckle. Um, is it, was it the 45 degree knuckle? We'll just do a little series where I'll show a couple of them. You know, and then um, you guys will have to let me know out there uh, that I miss one, that kind of thing. <clears throat> Yeah, but it's a new setup. It's definitely a, a bouncier, that's to say the least. <coughs> I put another material underneath <coughs> back here, so it's definitely bouncier. Definitely bouncier. I've had to uh, redial in the shop, that's for sure. That's for sure, guys. So, just to, just to that. we'll go into another one. It's coming. A little bit tired after rebuilding this thing, you know. Let's go ahead and show you that super grip then. We're uh, letting the viewer know. I mean, we've got a ton of variations for this grip. It's ridiculous. Now, I'm not sure that I'll be able to go into them all right now. I'm uh, kind of just freestyling here on this one. So we've got a 45 degree angle super grip. And you can knuckle it too like that. You know, knuckle. It's kind of a knuckle like that. Finger. See, we set the six up on the left, the five on the right, four right here. You can see me. So, my hand right there. That. So, we can do the 45 degree super grip. So, this is a 45 degree angle. So, see, those are the two right there. Um, let's see here. Well, let's go. We're out here at uh, nine foot. Nine foot over here, guys. Nine foot at the stick L1, stick L2. 
really stick out too. So we're going to be showing you the uh, 45 degree super grip. Not the flat, because we got the 45 degree where it comes in. And the 45 degree, I'll we'll probably have to cut this all up all over the place. 45 degree, the way it's going to do, when it comes in, what we want, it's going to come like this. I don't know if you guys can see this on there, see how those dice, you know, it's kind of like they're doing a willy. It's almost like I want them to come in like this. Boom. So it's like, boom, you know, so they come in kind of like this, guys. Like the back die hits first, front die, boom, and they settle down. So that's, that's what I like, the action of them. So when you come in, you'll, you should see them come in like this, boom, and they'll settle down. But this is a little bit different because uh, we changed it, so the action is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to throw one finger super grip. See right here. One finger super grip on this one. We we'll use a 45 degree angle. And we'll try, we're going to try to knuckle them in there. Try to knuckle them in there at the 45 degree angle. Like that. <clears throat> Six, five, four, five. See how that kind of came in there, guys. <clears throat> Cows and eight. <clears throat> Let's put that on there. So we're not throwing a game or anything. Just showing you a couple here. Five, four, five, super group, 45 degree angle. Trying to bring a knuckle down in there a little bit. Wasn't too much for knuckle, but it was a 45. I mean, they had about, looked like they had that much space in it. <coughs> in between them, but that's okay. I mean, as long as they're kind of staying tight. I'm going to see if I can get a little smaller stick here in a little bit. It's a little bit different. I don't know how far I need to bring it back. I'm not sure if I'll let's see if I'll bring I might put those in the slope. Okay, here goes another one. See how those kind of come in like this? Like bam, you know, like that's when they land so okay we got a point guys got a hard eight on that one can you see those in there let's see this is all new action looks like you can kind of see them in there So we shot a six, eight, or eight, six, eight. Got a point on that one. I'm just marking those, putting those down there for giggles. Okay, guys. So this one we're going to throw three with uh, the two finger, two finger forty-five degree knuckle, two finger forty-five. Green knuckle coming in on a fresh point, come out <clears throat> six five four five. And this one, see that thing jumped all around. I said it's definitely bouncing now. That's it, come out seven.
personally, <clears throat> I like the single finger, guys. I like the single finger, uh, the single 45 myself. Um, not a full tight knuckle, but I don't know, man. It's getting in the weeds, but I'm just telling you, you know, the, the preciseness of it where I like two finger coming at you. It's a little bit loose, but um, we'll take it. The heart six. I'm seeing those same numbers coming up, aren't we? Yeah, so it'll just take me a minute to get used to the uh, this new setup, then I'll be able to speed back up like I normally like to, guys. So, but uh, hey, welcome to Dangerous Arm. Appreciate you guys being here. This is just a little uh, short one, working on the super grip two finger, got a point of six coming down at you, 45 degree knuckle, that was a lot better on the knuckle, that was a lot better, I don't know if you can see that action, you see that, that uh, how it uh, bounces down there too, <clears throat> let's get these guys out of the way, So one more knuckle here, guys. One more 45 degree. And we're trying to throw the knuckle, but it's you know it's a 45 degree. So when you throw the 45, it's not going to you know stay as tight. Which I'm okay with that, depending on what uh, dice set you know I'm using. I mean you got to work with it. It's pretty fresh. I mean it's but it's definitely is nice. There goes one right there. You see how that one was? That came in there tight. Almost set a six back. Get a five. Okay, so that was the uh, 45 degree two finger super grip. So we did three with the single. With the, uh, here, grab another pair of dice. So we did three throws, a single finger, super grip, 45 degree. We're trying to bring a knuckle in there, not too tight. Because if you throw it like this, you throw it in there like that, you're going to get more of the knuckle action. It's a little bit better. Personally, myself, what I'm finding out, this is my favorite grip so far of the uh, 40 of the uh, Super Grip series. You know, that the angle like that. You know, just kind of, you know, kind of like a Dukes of Hazard Willie like that, and the way it comes in. And like I said, it just for some reason that's the way I like it. But we did three like that, and we did three like that. And this one's actually easier for me because it's easier on my wrist. Like that, so it's you know, it's all about for me. It's easier on my wrist, so that's why I do a lot of these weird things instead of that one there. So that's what we're doing, guys. New setup. It's definitely uh, definitely bouncier down here. Definitely more bouncy. I'll tell you that much. You'll be seeing that in uh, videos to come. You can check that and re rewind that one back. You'll see how a couple of those are bouncing. Uh, you know, it's amazing. You know, they chop down, then they bounce up about a foot. And what is that? But that's out, guys. Uh, I've got another grip, another throw. Uh, I've got going. It's pretty nice. Uh, I want to show you that one. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to actually be able to capture it in this video because uh, the angle you'll want to see it. It's uh, the three finger like this. It's nice because it's just really low key. You're just sitting there real low key. They're not going to know anything about it. You know, it's, it's a nice, uh, kind of like a knuckle, but it's like the way you throw it, it comes out of your hand and gets just a slight rotation, just just a couple baby rotations, and it hits uh, a lot of hard ways, a lot of hard ways. You've seen that one in the uh, that last video. Um, 
trying to think uh, where I was showing the uh, Iron Cross and it's uh, <clears throat> a little variation off of the Iron Cross. Uh, I believe that one hit like, I think we threw nine dice and hit like six hard ways or something. Just something stupid. So that's that die. That's that. That's that way. And then uh, we're running a new uh, new dice set too. Uh, we won't get into that right now, but we'll be doing some videos on it. The CK from Dangerous Hog. Hope you like it. If you did, definitely thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Alright guys, this is CK from Dangerous Arm. I am Dangerous Arm. Uh, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. If you're new to the station, the channel, uh, what we do is we put out videos every day, fresh material on how to dice control. So hit the subscribe. Leave a comment at the bottom. We'll see you next time.